Hey everybody. Hi, because I'm West Coast. Coming to you live from the future. From the future. Yes, still in Japan. And uh, we have a new plan for tonight. First of all, we think we fixed the... Um, Orientation problem. Yes, so we should be the right direction today. And um, yeah, new format. Mm -hmm. New day, new format. We were thinking uh, how not to make everybody watch an hour-long video every day just to figure out what we are up to. So we decided that we're going to start each video with a quick highlights of what we did so you can watch the first however many minutes of the video and to get an idea of what it uh, what it is that we're up to you and then if you're like really obsessed uh, you can watch the rest of the video yeah. for all the details yeah so we'll keep rambling after we finish with the highlights and mm -hmm. I'll put um, I'll comment with like how long the I guess oh, I sure. guess it doesn't yeah I'll the, just put the relevant information is yeah like I'll post how long the highlight section is and that way you know like what you're getting into so yeah okay so today's highlights this is day two mm -hmm. our full day two and we spent it um, in Tokyo Disney Sea which is um, a unique Disney park because it's the only one uh, it's the only Disney Sea in the world plenty um, of Disneylands but only one Disney Sea mm -hmm. so this morning mm-hmm uh, we got up early, we went to the park, um, we got in the park, and based on the recommendation of the Brickers, hey, Brickers. who are our spiritual guides for uh, our Disney... They're basically our, our Rick Steves. Yeah, exactly. For yes, Japan. For Japan. <laughs> they had recommendations for exactly what to do at the beginning of the park, and one of those is that we split up and go two different ways, which we don't typically do. And which is um, scary here because we only have one internet. Mm -hmm. So if we're separated, we can't con contact each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of people here. And yeah. so it's hard to find each other yeah. um, in a sea of people. So, so I ran to get a fast pass for Tower of Terror. And I ran to get in the standby line, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. For Journey to the Cent Center of the Earth, which is like the, like they call it, like the flagship attraction here. So... Um, it was a good plan mm -hmm. because yeah, they both said, scenarios had long lines. The burger said every minute counts, and it did. By the time I got to the fast pass line for Tower of Terror, it was long. It took me a while to get through. Yeah. And then I like almost ran the whole rest of the way to Katrina. Because we also didn't know what the queue looked like, so there was the risk that I would like go inside. Like long lines tend to wrap around outside, but then at some point you go in the attraction. But um, it was a long time before I was inside, so, um, and I had a, it looked like I had a pretty good spot in line, but that line was super long, so mm -hmm. we had a, we had a pretty long wait first thing in the morning. Yeah, so split up, yeah. got back together, um, and everything went pretty smoothly. Yeah. From a ride standpoint today, um, we played around, there's two single rider lines, so if you are familiar with Disney, you know that some rides allow, um, single riders, so you stand in a special line, and as there's, like, gaps because parties of unusual sizes and like they maybe a car holds six people and they only have five they'll like throw in a single rider to balance it out um so there were two rides that had that and like rides typically like they're not as fun on your own but mm -hmm. the benefit you have by like how much time you save makes it worth it so um one Especially of those in this case yeah in this case like the the wait times in this park mm -hmm. were crazy right like the Several. two single rider lines that we did today, I think, saved us hours. Uh, yeah, literally like, hours. Like a couple of hours per two line. Two to three hours per line. Which is insane. Yeah, so single the single rider lines looked real good. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, so we did that um, with success for two of the rides, which mm -hmm. was awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, one ride, briefly, Indiana Jones that we rode... Uh, we got to walk basically just to the front of the line. Yeah. Uh, with no issue. And for then, some reason, like no one uses that single rider yeah. line. Uh, Katrina got on like one of the cars, and then I got one of the, on the one right after her, and we made it. And through somehow and he finished before me. Yeah, I got out. I I guess I walked really fast. On we don't ride. really know how that happened. Um, and then the other one actually did take longer. Um, it did. We stood in that line for quite a while without it actually even moving. But still um, saved us but hours. Still saved us hours of standing mm -hmm. in the line. Um, also, the fast passes in this park run out really, really early. Like, did we only get the one fast pass? Yeah. 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 There by, was... the, by the time it was time for us to get another fast pass, the other ones uh, ran We're out. gone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, let's see. Um, other highlights for today. Um, I think we mentioned yesterday, we must have, um, that some of the shows here have lottery systems. And so, there's 
um, a handful of shows in the Disney Sea Park, um, but we knew that one of them was like the big ticket show. And earlier in the day, we actually were talking about it, and I was like, we have to put all of our like lottery energy into this ticket. Uh -huh. Like this is the one we want, um, and we got it. We which did. Is super exciting. It's very like uh, validating as well because you like put it into the screen and you hit like give me my ticket or enter the lottery or okay or whatever. You like Japanese. tell it how many people are yeah. in your group. And uh, and it makes like this really sad noise if, if you don't you, get if it. If you don't win, yeah. it's very it's very sad for yeah. you. Um, but, but we won. We so, won. Yeah, it was really we got exciting. to go to a show. Yesterday um, when we lost all of them, we were like, we can't win all the lotteries all the time. Yeah. So, but today we won. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we saw uh, that big show. The like mm -hmm. two big shows and two small shows. Yeah. Um, and the small shows were fun because they were just ones that we stumbled on in the on the street we didn't find any of those in Disneyland yesterday yeah that was actually something we didn't mention in the video but we had talked about it last night is that what seemed to be missing from Disneyland was all the street performances so there like the might... Deborah Dans and yes. bands and stuff yeah like the all streets. the like the main street well there's no main street here but you know like a band walking around mm -hmm. or singing groups on the street yeah. and there might have been them and we just didn't see them that's possible yeah. um but today we stumbled on two of them so yeah. that was really fun yeah it was yeah um what else uh, general note, uh, just about food. Yeah. Um, like, we really enjoyed the food in the park. There weren't anything that was, like, super standout, like, worth specific mention. But overall, like, enjoyed the food in this park better than yesterday. We felt like we had really good options. Yeah. And, um, like, yesterday we had to wait an hour for breakfast. And oh we didn't gosh. have to wait at all for breakfast today, we which is really nice. We did wait. Walk we lines. did wait a little bit longer for some food later, but... Overall, we didn't feel like we were waiting forever for food, and it felt like there were lots of good options, which, mm. honestly... The wait was a choice. Disneyland probably has more snacks that we liked. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I it's hard so. to say, because one of the places we ate today was a bakery, so you could make an argument that it's all snacks instead yeah. of a meal. Um, but as far as just, like, walking around and getting snacks, I feel like we had better luck yesterday than today. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Yeah. I don't know. But overall, like, general impression about food was very positive today. Felt like there were good options. So just hitting the end of the day, uh, we had a pretty mm -hmm. magical end of the day. Um, yeah. This, it was awesome. This park is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so gorgeous. Um, there's, I feel like, and it's giant. So you could, wander, you could wander around and just, like, stare at how beautiful it is. Um, um, we're over 20,000 steps today. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. A lot of steps. Like, just zigzagging. I feel like... Disney parks in general, the maps make them look bigger than they really are. But in this case, it's, it was it's still really big. It was just really, really yeah. big. So yes, over twenty thousand steps. Yeah. Um. So we had we spent a lot of time at the, especially toward the end of the day, um, looking at the park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and we was, found this really, really great place like on a tower. Uh, that who knew you could go up there and look out and have this great view of the park oh, and sit up there for so a while. So gorgeous. And in the middle of that, the volcano that was just behind us it yes. erupted. Like spurts of fire. And yes, that, that was... is a volcano in the park, not a real volcano. <laughs> yeah. Um, the may being in the parks makes it really. Um, we have to like remind ourselves like what's real and what's not. Mm -hmm. Like this park is actually up against the water. Yeah. And so like you can see the water. We're like, oh, that's the real water that's out real, there. That's real ocean. That's that's real ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then the other like magical thing, like the most magical thing in my day, was going into. Like the Little Mermaid. I mean, area. it was it was magical for me too, but it was yes. like really magical. Uh, it was just it was it was anyway. It was like this super like giant indoor themed area. Like you were under the sea, and there's like giant seaweed and kelp and walkthroughs where you go into like Ariel's Grotto, and there's like the Eric statue, and you go in like it's so, into Ursula's like lair. Yeah, and, it's so crazy because you it's all like underground, and so you you could easily. I mean, we could have easily missed it. Yeah. The only reason we saw it was because there was like a food option there that we were going to check out yeah. and we walked down there and it was just, it just like unveiled itself to us and it was I just walked really around amazing. with like mouth literally open. <laughs> like it was amazing. And that area is like, it's designed to be like the little kids area. Yeah, it really is. But yeah. it's, I I mean, there were lots of adult people yeah. walking around there yeah. and in the, like the areas for the kids, but it's where like the tamer, like kid, yeah, the kid the rides, kid rides the kitty rides. Um, although some of them look kind of neat. Yeah. There was like a teacup ish ride yeah. down there that actually looked pretty cool yeah so we might have to check that out so, um anyway those those were, are the highlights those are our highlights for the day so um as promised uh much shorter than yesterday yes um so for uh you, all of you who have watched this point thank you um, so much thank you so much uh we tomorrow is probably disneyland 
Uh, Maybe? Oh, sure. I, yeah. We actually haven't yeah, decided yet. So uh, just really quick, um, we have a four-day pass here, and when you have a four-day pass, you have to select the yeah. park for the first two days, mm -hmm. but then your days three and four can be park hoppers. And and it has to be a different park, like like Disneyland on the first day, Disney Sea on the second day, or vice versa. Yeah. Uh, it can't be the same one. And then third and fourth, you can go to either one. Do whatever you want. Yeah. So that's yeah. so we haven't. Yeah, we haven't decided about yesterday. I mean tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard being in the future. We're on the other side of the international plate line. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so okay. uh, like we said at the beginning of the video, uh, the new format we're going to follow for our daily videos is that we're going to start off with some highlights of the day to uh, kind of summarize what we had going so that if uh, you want a shorter time commitment <laughs> than like the hour long video this will likely turn into, um, the, that is your best bet. Yeah, so um, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so now we're going to go into a little bit more detail on the day um, and uh, how it how it went. Yeah. So, do we just want to jump back to the beginning of the day? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we woke up. Now, um, yeah. no, I guess the first the first thing was uh, we got to the park and there were huge lines, just like there were at Disneyland. Um, they were a little more orderly at Disney Sea. Like it was, well, it was built to be more orderly. Like yeah. it was really clear, and they had they had signs. They had signs that were like line up here if you like already have your ticket and then there were other lines that were like this is where you go if you don't have a ticket and there were announcements they were regular languages. yes they were regularly announcing it which th there was none of that at disneyland yeah so it was we knew we were in the right yeah. place yeah um yeah but we thought we were an hour early mm -hmm. turns out we were a half an hour we early half an hour because instead of starting opening at 8 30 like, <sighs> like google told us like google told us uh, they actually open at eight. Mm -hmm. So as we're like moving forward, like farther and farther in the line where it's like people are moving through bag check. It's like, where are they putting all these people <laughs> on the other side of bag check? Then we get through bag check and it turns out we're in the park. Yeah. Uh, so Oops. yeah. We remember to grab maps right away though. We did. We yeah. grabbed maps and we're like, wait, we're in the park. Now we're supposed to, the brickers now uh, what? say now we're what? supposed to like split up and go different places. Okay, uh, you go there and I'll go there and, and I think, may the odds be ever in your favor. Yeah, and because this park is so big, well, I don't know if I can blame it on that, but this park is really big and it's really hard to see everything. So it's like, I don't know, I feel like in Disneyland it's like the castle's always in the middle and then you kind of know like everything is like, like a w wheel spokes like out from the middle of the castle. Mm -hmm. This place... It's all over the place. There's things are giant and you can't see beyond them. So mm -hmm. it's like when we were ta when we were in that tower that we were talking about, like we could only see the front half of the park and there's a whole other part of the park that's behind the volcano. Yeah, on the other you, side of the volcano. You can't see it at all. So yeah. it's like I just felt like we would turn corners and see we'd be like in a totally different area that we hadn't seen before. I was very disoriented <laughs> most of the day. Yeah. Um so I, I I got it down. Um I knew where we were going. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like my maps and I would go I into a store and come out and just be completely lost. <laughs> I'm so, like, we're going that yeah, way. I have no, no clue. Um, but splitting up was successful. I was able to find my ride. I was a little bit worried. Um, and yeah, so that line was super long. Mm -hmm. And as soon as that, this is the journey to the center of the earth, ride. So Jared found me with no problems. So that mm -hmm. was great. Still outside the ride. Um, and people like they had employees, cast members with signs at the entrance, reminding people to please walk. Um, at the entrance of the park. Because it's a, remember, I don't, you probably don't remember because you probably didn't watch that far yesterday, but there was a point yesterday in Disneyland when the lights went out um, on purpose because we they were getting ready for the um, electrical, parade. electrical parade. And Jared was like, people were running around like it was the apocalypse. That was what this morning was like. People are doing a mad dash to Toy Story Mania. To Toy Story Mania, yeah, Midway Mania it, or Toy Story Mania. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. whatever, here, whatever here it's, it's called. called that. Um, so, and that's and the ride here we hear is just like the one in California, mm -hmm. um, and it's not one of my favorite rides anyway. Um, I know Jared likes it, but it's like the same as California, so. We weren't even gonna try. Yeah, I do like the ride, but even in California, the long the the yeah. line is always super long, so yeah. I almost never like go on it. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, it it was crazy. I actually had to go past that line on my way to Tower of Terror, and uh, it it was like out in the street. It was like down the street and down. It's not even just like out the building. We're talking like like half the street is just filled with people all the way like around the block. Um, and yeah, it was crazy. We actually made it back there 
uh, later in the day. And that area was still filled with people, but now they had like umbrellas and they're just sitting on the ground because it's to, hot and like sunny. Like sun umbrellas, yeah. like not... It's, it's hot and sunny and... Yeah. Um, and they're ready for a camp out. Like they're yeah, just... Yeah, exactly. They know they're going to be there for literally three hours. Yeah. Um, so Jared found me. Uh, when the journey to the center of the Earth queue goes indoors, um, it's like you're going down underground. You're going to the center of the Earth. Um, so it was very cave-like, mm -hmm. very dark... Um, very, it just was very like yeah. people everywhere. Like the, the queue was like, very snaked through snaky, place, loopy. Yeah. Um, we had read from the Brickers that this was one of the most interesting queues. That part in the cave was not super interesting no. at all. No. And then, um, it, yeah, no, same. Yeah. It's like the walk into the Indiana Jones ride in Disneyland, um, is more interesting. It's yeah. like you go through cave parts, but then you go have some like kind of ancient ruin stuff that you hit as well. So it's like. But as this was just as, like me in a cave. Yeah, I mean, they had a couple like it was just a cave with the. They had a couple things for you to look at, but not not very much. Yeah. Um. But the ride itself, I'm having trouble even remembering what the car was like. Right. Oh, because this is going around by ourselves. Yes. Oh. So weird. So there's like literally thousands of people oh, yeah. waiting for this ride, and they put us in a car by ourselves. And I think the cars held six. The cars held six people. Yeah. And this was weird too. Like when we got up to the front of the line, like toward the front, they separated us out into a separate, like, you know, the line split and they put us down one row and we couldn't really figure out why. And it looked like just by watching that everyone else in the other lane had larger groups. So it made kind of sense to me. Cause then like the person filling the cars could pull like a larger group and then like maybe pull from the smaller line. That made sense, except they just put us in a car all by ourselves, mm -hmm. and we could, there was no reason, uh, no reason. Yeah, uh, no, no reason. There was no reason. <laughs> they stuck us at the front of a car for six people by ourselves and sent us on our way. Yeah, um, Lindsay said that happened to her in Hong Kong too. Oh, bizarre. I, yeah. There's really no reason for it. Yeah. Um, but the ride was cool. Yeah. It kind of like uh, I think we heard it described as like part dark ride, part thrill ride. And that's accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Like when it got to the thrill part, it was thrilling. It was thrilling. Yeah. It, it was, was like, fun. it was like the end of the ride and yeah. yeah, there was like it, the car that you're in just like takes off. Yeah. And you're some, like, you're like meandering and, through the, the center yeah. of the earth for a while and then you just, you're in a big hurry to get out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, There's some great like up and down and like kind of the like head cut off thing like under a rock and then suddenly you're outside. Yeah. And like zooming around outside. And, and the parts of it were like really warm because you're like in the center of the earth. Mm -hmm. And um, and then once you start going fast, it gets really cold. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that ride, right. that ride was cool. And it was long it had, enough. It yeah. felt like you got a good amount of ride. Yeah. Yeah. And that's even... Not like three hours worth of wait. A good amount of ride. Sure. But, yeah. yeah. I don't know that any ride would be worth standing in line for three mm -hmm. hours. I did once for Transformers. Oh, I'm sure I, I'm yeah. sure I have. And like, it was an accident. We had no idea. I imagine, I don't know if it was three hours, but when like Test Track first opened in Epcot during my senior mm. year of high school, we waited a really long time, but I, I it might've been two hours, mm. not three. Um, then what happened? Uh, time for food. Food. After the morning dash. Um, oh yeah. There ended up being a restaurant right underneath the ride. Yeah. Like, not uh, not right uh, under the ride, but like in that the, same area. Under the center of the earth. And uh, yeah, under the, under the center of the earth. No, there was just like a food place really close. And like we said, like it was so much faster than um, waiting an hour yesterday. Like we walked down, we waited in a short line. Yeah, we got there food, were a couple of people ahead of us in line. Ate it. Mm -hmm. It was lovely. It was this like, uh, gyoza sausage bun. Yeah. So it was like a bun, but like gyoza. And yeah, like it was yummy. Inside, gyoza filling. And it was great. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we walked somewhere else. Where did we go? Uh, we were on our, we went, to, we headed to Indiana Jones. We decided that we oh, would yeah. go do the single rider line for Indiana Jones mm -hmm. because, uh, the Brickers said that, um, in general in the park, people don't use it and you can just kind of walk onto the, to the beginning. Yeah. And as we were walking over there, we walked over. So Disney Sea, if you, um, if you don't know, it's like water themed. So like all of these, the lands all have to do with like different waterways of mm -hmm. the world. So there, and there's, so there's a lot of like 
bridges that go over water. There's a huge water I, lake. Rivers I don't even know what you call it. Bay and all the kinds of water. Lagoon yes, lagoons. All the different kinds of water. They had them, and so we had to cross some bridges to get over to Indiana Jones. And we're crossing over one of the bridges, and I'm like, "Oh, this is so pretty." And there's like a sign there that's like, "It's a video spot." And I'm like, "Well, let's stop." I'm like just kind of joking, and then like coming down the river is. A couple, there's a couple boats coming down yeah. the river with characters yeah, on them gorgeous. and they're like singing. It's almost like a little mini parade except there's just two boats and I'm <laughs> pretty two. sure they just circle the whole park all day and like sing and dance. Yeah, I guess. Uh, so like, The first one was like Toy Story and the second one Hi, was Mom. Monsters, Inc. Um, thanks, Lindsay. <laughs> um. So yeah, we stood there and watched the boats for a second and then we had to figure out how to get on this single rider line for Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. um, and it turns out you just go to the Fast Pass line and tell oh. them you're a single rider. And they put you through. Hold up one, say, uh, single rider. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the Brickers had said that the ride was basically the same as California. I would say that was not true. Like, yeah, agreed. I, I well, mean, it's like it had like the same like major points. Yes, the same major points, but. Oh my gosh, we walked in like once we got inside. <gasps> right. You go into this room. This is the walkthrough like, to get to the ride. It was giant and gorgeous, and I can't even, like, if you've been on Indiana Jones in California, it's like, the like Jared was saying, like, the queue's interesting, but it's, like, all, like, dark and beige, and you're in the cave. Uh -huh. This was, like, painted It, like, and opened up gorgeous. into, like, this big, like, square, <sighs> Like, I can't even, just cavern. big room, yeah. giant room. There's, like, a giant statue. <laughs> we can't, just, um, we like can't describe it and give it justice. And boulders, it was... and then, like, the pathway, like, kind of, like, worked its way up around the outside of it. Uh, Lindsay, um, signs in English, yes. Well, I would say most signs are mixed. Well, yeah. Uh, like, I guess signs for, like, food are, all have interpretations. Mm -hmm. uh, the safety signs all mm -hmm. have interpretations. Yeah. Um... And I, I think a lot of the time in the rides, if anything, there are, there is like, a, it's like, here's the Japanese signs and then a little bit farther, it's like, here's the English yeah. signs. And then a couple of the rides will have like Chinese signs. Yeah. Um, and sometimes Chinese announcements. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, what I thought was interesting is in some of the areas where it's supposed to be like somewhere else, like you're in like a more like Latin type of place, mm -hmm. like this like it's spanish themed and so the signs are in spanish with <laughs> yeah. like japanese under it yeah um so it's just like you would typically see in like a themed area in the u.s mm -hmm. um where it's like in spanish instead but it's in spanish and and japanese yeah and we'll talk a little bit more about shows later but i think one of the one of the most surprising things is like when in shows when they're speaking in japanese and when they're speaking mm -hmm. in english yeah, or exactly. singing in either language like there's not really a pattern. Yeah, <laughs> like it's... it's just like going along in Japanese, and you just get used to not understanding what's happening, and then it switches and into English. <laughs> yes. And you, at, for me, it takes a second to realize, like, oh, suddenly I can understand what's happening. Yeah. Um, so Indiana Jones, uh, the ride, like the car, like the car situation, mm -hmm. it's the same, but the scenes were a little bit different. Was that? Yeah. Oh, that was my water bottle. Um, I don't know. I just, I liked the look of it. Like, mm -hmm. my... It was way more polished. Yeah. Way more modern. My comment was that I liked the look of Indiana Jones better here, but that the ride itself, like how the ride feels, I liked it better in California. Yeah, it's like really kind of jerky and rough. Yeah, I don't know. A, a lot of the rides here have seemed faster than California, but I don't know. I just liked the Indiana Jones in California a little better. Yeah. But it, lo it looked better here. <laughs> One thing that was funny about my ride, because we did the single rider, so we were separate. Um, there were three girls to my left that screamed the entire ride. <laughs> a couple of times I actually like plugged my ear because it was just too loud. I couldn't take it. Um, but it was dark, so I don't think they saw. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so that was Indiana Jones. What happened next? Um, oh, sadness happened next. Then, like according to the Brickers itinerary, we were supposed to like go get a different fast pass. And we lingered a bit too long in yeah. making our decisions. Yeah, and so we had landed. I had really wanted, I said, I want to, like, my vote was for Tower of Terror. I wanted a second Tower of Terror ticket. Um, and so we started, but it was cutting it close because we are using an app that will tell us um, what, what the, the wait current, times are. What the wait times are and the current Fast Pass distribution, what window it's going for. So very similar to the apps in the US. Mm -hmm. And it looked, Tower of Terror was getting close to the end of the day, but it still wasn't like, at the end of the day, it was like no. eight o'clock. Yeah. Like, oh, park closes at ten. Yeah. 
So it's so we head across the park, and then like halfway there, yeah. like she checks the app again, and they're done. Because remember, this park's real big, and so at a certain point, like we're like we're power walking, yeah. like hardcore. And um, I kind of stopped on a bridge and double checked yeah. it, and it was like they're out, yeah. it's closed. So then we decided that we're gonna go back to journey to the center of the journey to the center of the earth and get that fast pass and like as we're walking up and we were pretty close yeah. and the app said that there was like the last hour of the day still available yeah like the cast members are like taking down like the stanchions for the uh, fast pass line and saying things in Japanese yeah. that um, <laughs> and people were walking away meant with, that no, with no more fast, fast passes, passes. <laughs> so that was kind of a bummer uh-huh. um, but not we didn't let it we didn't let it. Um, Ruin our day? No. No. Um, so then uh, we... We oh. headed for the lottery. Yeah. Headed for the lottery. Uh, we kind of meandered a bit through... There's this really cool, like, Venetian area that has... Right? Venetian? Yeah. Yeah. That um, has, like, gondolas and stuff. And we kind of, like, walked through mm-hmm. that area. Um, and then, like, into... Um, there's a whole, like, New York-themed area that's actually really cool... Um, We'll have to walk through there again because there's a lot of details, a lot of there's a lot of signs and um, cool looking buildings. And then we stumbled upon that first street performance that we mentioned before. Um, all of a sudden, we got some people uh, singing a little "I Got Rhythm." Yeah, uh, which was fun. Yeah, and there were a couple of girls in flapper outfits mm-hmm. and, and tap tap, tap shoes. shoes. Some boards down on the ground for them to like tap on. Yeah, um, it was great. There was a then a woman came and started singing, and she was great. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was like her story it was like she was running the music she yeah. was like in like a uh just like a normal yeah. uh like worker brat, like yeah beige. khaki outfit and then she like kind of like comes in and they like put her on the mic and then she starts singing and she's fabulous and then they like tear her outfit away <laughs> and she's wearing one of the flapper outfits and they give her a hat and they give her like bracelets and then she gets to be part of the group too and yeah. everything's happy they were darling yeah so that was fun <laughs> um and it was really fun because we mentioned yesterday that um or no, we didn't mention, but we mentioned mm-hmm. a little bit earlier that there weren't really street performances in Disneyland. So it was really fun to stumble across that here. Yeah. Uh, then we did enter the lottery and yes. we won, like we mentioned at the beginning of the video, which was great. We won uh, tickets to Big Band Beat. That we'll, Big we can Band get, Beat. We can get back to uh, later in the day when mm-hmm. it happened. There was one other lottery that we entered. It was like Pixar... Pixar... Playtime? Play, yeah, that something. was... Play something, yeah. yeah. Um, apparently it's a show on the water. Yeah. But we, didn't, know, we lost. We didn't win so. that one, but that was okay because we'd already won the first one. Yeah, we, we won were... the important one. Yes. Um, after that, we went to Tower of Terror for our Fast Pass time um, at like 11.25 a.m. was yes. the Fast Pass window. Tower of Terror here is different. It's a different, um, it's called, I guess it is called Tower of Terror. Mm-hmm. Um, the, but, hotel, the hotel is called High Tower Hotel and the story is different. So, mm-hmm. like the. the the one in California Adventure was the Twilight Zone Tower mm-hmm. of Terror. So this didn't have the Twilight Zone theme. No, it's uh, got like a... It was like a high, evil idol. A high but... Tower is the, the... I'm assuming the man who owns the hotel. Sure. And um, this is... <laughs> This is us hmm. piecing together. Not understanding any of the actual Japanese that right. was happening. But but, uh, but I did look into it a long time ago, and then they did have, like, one sign that was kind of talking about him, and it had stuff in English on it, mm-hmm. on it, and it was like, uh, we're going to assume he w- he's an adventurer and uh, goes and gets artifacts yeah. uh-huh. and I steals an idol that shouldn't have been stolen oh it was given to him like was there uh, like a maybe someone gave it to him like because it was cursed curse. yeah yeah so there's like a cursed idol and um and for no apparent reason the cursed idol zaps him into the elevator takes him up to the there, beginning top of the thing and drops him. yeah there was like a sign and it said that like the the idol was suspected to be cursed and having something to do with his disappearance mm-hmm. um but then like so you get into the uh, elevate. I don't know. Part of the queue is like all of these artifacts and like things he would have brought back from his explore. So I think, I think part of the deal is that you could, as a if you were visiting this hotel in real life, you could go like tour his stuff. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, um, we, I don't speak Japanese. No, no, no. no. Um, do you want to talk about the the room with the with it disappearing? Um, or I don't know if that's hard to describe. Yeah, that's fine. It was. It was fine. Yeah. Um, and the ride was fun. And and actually, what was kind of what was kind of creepy is since it was a different story, we didn't know when it was gonna drop. Mm-mm. Yeah. So as soon no, as no, yeah, as it's like, is it wait, is it starting now? As soon as the lights went out, we were like, oh no, like we don't know. Wait, when? Yeah. 
Is there going to be more story? Are we going to drop? Yeah. Um, but yeah. And the the uncertainty really like enhances the experience yeah. for the Tower of Terror. Like it was it was great. Yes. Um, Tower of Terror. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Super super enjoyed that. Then what uh, happened? We walked out and sat on the bench for the amb- ambiance and then mm-hmm. decided to go get food from a bakery. Yes. Time for more food. Yes. So we headed toward where we knew this bakery was that we wanted to, to try, but then decided to just like stop along all the shops on the Because it was way. kind of in the front, mm-hmm. apparently. Yeah. And um, <laughs> where a lot of the shops were. So we just kind of like circled through. Yeah, which shops. was a lot of them. It, that essentially got us through their downtown, um, their main street area. Um, their main street area. So yeah. it's like where all the shopping it's kind of like is. Kind a plaza. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah. It's like a giant Mediterranean plaza. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we worked our way around it, got to the bakery, didn't have to wait an hour to get our waffles. I mean, we had to wait a little bit, but you mm-hmm. know, waiting a little bit is yeah. fine. No problem there. We got some, there. some fun snacks. One of them was like a mousse cup, like pistachio mousse cup Mm -hmm. with one of the little green men dumplings Dumplings. that we had yesterday on top. Mm -hmm. So we got to have like the dumplings again, but didn't have to like eat three of them. It was so nice. Three of them. Yeah. Yeah. It was a nice little, uh, holdover from yesterday. Mm -hmm. And then like, I also had like a custard filled, like crusty bread thing. And then they had a variety of like, uh, cheese and yeah, savory cheese. Yeah. Variety of like savory and sweet pastries there. But like, Ones that are, were substantial enough to be a, a, a meal. Yeah. So that's what we did there. Yep. It was yummy. So, um... <gasps> oh my gosh. Can I talk about my our correction from yesterday? About... Should we talk about clothing? Oh. We're going to interject this uh, chronological storytelling oh with gosh. an update. So, okay. Um, if, you guys. if you listened to yesterday, and for those of you that didn't, we'll give you a quick update. Um, so one of the things we talked about yesterday was that... One of the things that stands out a lot in the park is that people wear a lot of matching outfits. Matching outfits. Like. Coordinated. Like groups of, like, um, groups of schoolgirls down to, like, couples down to, like, uh, groups of four or five guys. uh, Or, like. I mean, really. Just everyone. And it's, like, every, every few steps. And this is not an exaggeration at all. It is not an exaggeration. Every few steps. I can, I can <laughs> testify to that. There are people that are matching. And I'm not laughing at them. I'm just laughing. It's like, it's just so... It's, it's all over the place. And it's just not something I've, I've ever come across in a Disney park. And the and the outfits aren't necessarily Disney. So mm-hmm. it's... because it, Oh, because that was the thing we said yesterday. It's like, we see groups in Disneyland all the time that are like bachelorette parties or um family reunions yeah. like really popular you know you they go have a with a t-shirt made and Absolutely. they're all wearing like a red t-shirt with mickey on it or something but this isn't even necessarily like disney themed this is like we own the exactly. same floral dress and we own the same like orange sweater and and then we're gonna wear ma- matching maybe matching mickey ears but it's not like a disney outfit right it's yeah. just like we own the same skirt well okay. mm. we'll get back to that <laughs> Or is it? Yeah. So, but it's it's just like anything is matching. Like there were uh, some girls today. They all had matching skirts, and then they all had the same Nike sweatshirt on, but in different colors. And then the color of their Nike sweatshirt matched their socks. So there's stuff like that. Um, so very coordinated. Like mm-hmm. we are going to Disney together. Like we feel very out of place. How do we even know that we're hanging out together? Like mm-hmm. I don't even know. And today, randomly, I was chatting about how once we're out of Disneyland, I'm like, I'm really curious mm-hmm. to see just um, what fashion like style is here in japan because there's definitely themes we're seeing emerge just in like styles of clothing there's Mm -hmm. a lot of layering there's a lot of like i i do not understand like i was so warm today yeah and i'm like in this thin t-shirt and people are like i'm gonna wear a collared shirt and i'm gonna wear a sweater and then i'm gonna wear a jacket and Mm -hmm. then i'm gonna wear a skirt but then i'm gonna wear like like athletic pants under my skirt yeah i Tuck the sweater into the skirt. Yeah, it's the layers, the layering's insane. And it's a lot of like, like drapey, flowy layers and stuff. And so we're just talking about that. And we're um, like, we're saying like, we'll probably see those same kind of styles outside the park. Mm -hmm. And then we're talking about color because we've seen a lot of like, all like, uh, beige. shades of beige, beige and oatmeal, and, and so we were really like, like "That's a really popular color khaki. here." And then we were kind of laughing. We're like, "What if everyone outside of Disney is like super colorful, and we just don't even know it?" Mm-hmm. But it was like mid conversation because yesterday when we were talking about matching outfits, we said that 
all of these people are wearing matching outfits, but they're not Disney bounding. And we mentioned there was like one couple we saw and mm -hmm. they were like obviously like Mickey and Minnie. But for the most part, we're like, these are not characters. And to be clear, Disney bounding is when mm -hmm. people like go to the parks and they dress like reminiscent of a character. Yes. So you might wear, uh, well, like we saw some kids today that had, uh, the, the Donald kids like what would they had like yellow shoes oh yeah yeah and like yellow shoes and a blue shirt blue and shirt. they were wearing like a little tiny like Donald Donald, Donald hat. hat like uh it was like a uh, Donald headband from the parks yeah like, so you might like, wear like it's like you look at them and know that they're dressed like yes. as this as Donald the... without actually being like in a costume so, so it's that's... usually like color themes that match a character or something like mm. that and we are like mid conversation talking about this and all of a sudden it dawns on us. Yeah. I don't even know the best way to like tell this story. Right. I think, I feel like maybe I jokingly said like, well, it turns out here, like everybody's just Disney bounding as Duffy the bear. Duffy the, the Disney bear. Yes. If you are not familiar, Duffy is Mickey's bear. That's all we really Mickey's need. Mickey's teddy bear. Mickey's, Mickey's teddy bear. Yeah. Um, and it's really popular. Super like, popular really here. Really popular. Like Duffy here. has friends here. Mm -hmm. Like as in additional, not like, like, not like the human friends, <laughs> but like there is a cat. Mm -hmm. And there's also a bunny who I think mm -hmm. is newer, mm -hmm. um, but it's huge here. And we're right in the middle of like a Duffy celebration in the parks. So, so in the middle of this conversation, we realize like epiphany, we, like, wait, like, I uh, j like we joke, like maybe everybody's Disney bounding is Duffy. And then we realize they everybody's are. Disney bounding is Duffy. <laughs> that is absolutely what they're doing. It, when like, we like, we, I, when we left from like meals, we start looking like they're wearing like, the, the, even like wearing like fur reminiscent oh like my gosh, tops yes. and Duffy ears and carrying Duffy bears <laughs> like they're straight and, up all dressed as Duffy and so the the so if you have like Mickey and Minnie there's Duffy and Shelly May who's like the the girl the girl mm -hmm. bear and she's like pink and oh my gosh it's there like would be people in like like standing next to like be beige like Duffy the beige person, person is and the a pink light person. Pink person, and then we come across like these like weird that like the, there's a cat that's like a weird greenish color, mm -hmm. and they're in the weird greenish color wearing the cat ears. So there's like, a ton of Disney bounding, and we just we had no idea. We just thought everybody really loved their neutrals. Um, I do not use the term like mind blown very often. <laughs> But it was really like, how did we not see this? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was pretty funny. So who knows how popular beige is outside the park? I don't know. They might save all their beige clothes and wear them when they want to be Duffy. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, mm -hmm. it was, it was, a, it was a realization. So, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty amusing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was, it was quite the realization. Yeah. I don't know how we missed it. Yeah. So sorry. We, we said no one was Disney bounding. It turns out like a third of the park is. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, on the subject of matching outfits, I decided today that I need to take pictures of these matching outfits to try to get like the idea across like mm -hmm. what people are doing with this. Not creepy at all. Um, so I've been taking creepy photos about of people and then finding that the creepy photos weren't working so well, like the secret photos. So now I just raise up my camera and take pictures of people as they walk past. Now he's just obviously creepy when taking, <laughs> taking the now pictures. Now like, there will be some sort of collage like forthcoming where you can see exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. Because... Because we're not making this stuff up. Because it's crazy. But, like, I'm taking these photos and it's like, click, click, click. Because mm -hmm. they're just, like, four or five groups yes. in a row will walk by. And again, to be clear, not making fun of it. We're no. just, it's just, like, it's it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's just something that's happening and happening so widely, it's actually really impressive. Yeah. Uh, jump back to chronological. Yes. <laughs> so we had uh, lunch at the bakery, mm -hmm. uh, and then decided to check out this ride, Raging Spirits, which is the other single rider line in the park. That I kept calling Mystic River. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. Couldn't uh, get that yeah. name straight. Um, and it was like up in the corner of the park, uh, through some areas that we hadn't been to before. The Brickers did not really like rate this very highly. They rated it pretty low. But there was a single rider line, and mm -hmm. we had had good success with that with Indiana Jones. So and we decided different. to go ahead. We didn't know, like, we'd never been on it. Yeah, so. exactly. So we decided to do that. So in walking through there, um, I guess of note, uh, we went through the Arabian Coast area, mm -hmm. uh, which had some really impressive <gasps> architecture. Yeah. Um, um, like yes. Domes and tiles. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And, yeah. Yeah, so there's like a whole, like, um, square like i would say like so the entryway to the park is kind of like a like a mediterranean or italian plaza and then think of this as more of like a like a square like a big like 
Marrakesh kind of. Yeah. Um, just a big open. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. it was beautiful. And then it had like um streets that were gorgeously themed, like mm-hmm. very uh there was lines for photo ops there, just like oh there were gosh. in Toontown. Yeah. Um, but it was it was just really beautiful. It was like a whole little street. It made me think of like um. Oh gosh, uh, I don't know, a themed street. <laughs> like I don't know, it was oh, really. I don't know. Yeah, um, it was just really pretty, like little like store fronts and stuff that were like fake, mm-hmm. but um, yeah, yeah, they were photo worthy. People were lining up to take photos, and it was worth it. Like it was, it was really pretty. But people do do that a lot here. They do. They'll line up to take photos in front of a blank wall. We we've seen it. Okay, are you talking about in New York? What? I don't know. The person. We did. That wasn't a blank wall. No, it was not but a blank like, wall. like when we walked through the backs, like the backside oh. of that, like it's just like a brick wall and they're That's standing true. there taking pictures with it. Well, there was no one else there. That was, that was a plus. Yeah. Maybe they're just trying to find a place to take a picture. Like <laughs> the only place to take a picture without a line is a blank wall <laughs> oh in a back God. alley. Well, I almost took our picture back there. Yeah. But I would have had not the blank wall in the background. Yeah. It would have been a street. Yeah. But... Um, so anyway, we very pretty. Yeah, in the uh, Arabian Coast area, we went to a dessert place. Sna- yes, it's like a snack place. Yeah. They have like one savory snack mm-hmm. and then desserts. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the the dessert that we got is maple cream balls with ice cream. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like a like a kind of a cakey ball. It's almost like kind of a pancakey ball. Yeah. Um, with uh, some sort of maple flavoring inside, mm-hmm. uh, drizzled with chocolate. Like a and little then, thicker like... than maple syrup, mm-hmm. but um, it was really nice. Yeah. Like, it was a really light flavor. It wasn't super sweet, which I like. like maple jelly. Like, yeah. That, like that, that kind makes of it kind of sound gross, and it's not yeah. like a jelly donut. Mm-mm. But, no. I mean, maybe if they would have injected more of it. Anyway, it was really nice. Yeah. Um, and then they drizzled chocolate on it and then put a little bit of ice cream on there. Yeah, ice cream and about the amount that you would put, like, whipped cream on the top of this. Yeah, it could, could have, have used more ice cream. More ice cream. Yeah, exactly. Um, I could we always s- use more ice cream, so. We sat down and ate that. I, like, popped one out of the thing and dropped it on my lap. And Immediately. And chocolate all over my shirt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but we saved it. Like, mm-hmm. there's no, no chocolate on yeah, my shirt. Saved yeah, saved the situation. Yeah. So that was yummy. Um, and then, oh, well, the, that ride. Mm-hmm. Um... It was a roller coaster. No, no, no. Wait, what? The uh, Sinbad. Oh. I skipped that. Oh. Yeah, I mean, well, I skipped that in my. Yeah. Um, so there is a ride there, I would say, that had like no wait. Yeah, we were walking by and it's like, wait, this says there's a five minute wait. Mm, Which we know means go, walk on. Yeah, let's go to. Let's go check that out. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was a ride based on the Seven Voyages of Sinbad. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was all in Japanese. Yes, uh, and I uh, think. Uh, like small world setup, yeah. like boat, like the boat yeah. situation, kind of going from room to room, like mm-hmm. big rooms. Yeah, um, really big rooms, and the, just like a slow boat through, mm-hmm. and uh, animatronic characters kind yes. of telling the story. Uh, mm-hmm. And yeah, there there was a song that they sang like the entire time that I really <laughs> liked. By the end, I'm like, this is really catchy. Like, yeah, it was. I, it was like super how catchy. Do I find this in English, and it's no surprise it was super catchy because turns out Alan Menken composed it. <sighs> you know. They updated the ride a while back because it was too scary and it was unpopular. So yeah. they had Alan Menken compose a song for it. And yeah, and um, it's, I, I mean, I guess I don't know how popular the ride is, and there was like no wait for it, so maybe it's not super popular. But it does have Chandu. Is that am I saying that Chandu. right? Chandu. Sure. Um, the tiger, which is the super cute tiger that you see all over the park. Mm-hmm. Um, the little tiger wearing a red turban yes. with a jewel on the he's front. He's super cute. And then like in in the ride, he's like in every room just being adorable. Making meowing noises Meow. and or like growling. Yeah. Digging he's, gold. Or he's really cute. Yeah. So that um, if you want to uh, meet that character, that's the ride to do it. Mm-hmm. And, yes. then, and then there's lots of cute merch. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, so made it to the the single rider Raging Spirits, um, not ride, Mystic River, which it turns out was a roller coaster, one of the one where they like where you pull the thing down over the top, um, and then ride that. And it goes. Um, yeah, there is it like goes a, upside down. It, there is like a three sixty loop in it, um, and uh, we like we said earlier in the highlights. Uh, I feel like I need my whole finger in there because that looked funny. Uh, <laughs> Uh, in the highlights, it took us a lot longer to get through that line, um, but it was fine. The... Like Indiana Jones, I think there was like one person in front of us. Yeah. This one, I don't know, a dozen more. Uh, more because more? it was like all these people plus these people, like yeah. maybe two dozen people. Okay. Uh... Expensive is mercy. Um, that's a very philosophical <laughs> question, Lindsay. 
is do you, have you perhaps made a typo? <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Uh, or or more info. Yeah. Uh, Mickey? No. Um, I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to give us more info. Uh, while you're waiting to give us more info, like my experience on the ride is, I got on and I was went to put my bag down oh, by my yeah. feet, and my bag got stuck on part of my shirt. There's like one little teeny like tiny loop on your shirt. Here. It's so mm. no nudity. Um, there's like a little it's, loop here. Yeah. Uh, and it just got caught like right in the like zipper pull of my. Sure. So I couldn't like put my bag on the ground, and then the guy's like, "Pull your thing down, uh, like pull the 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 this thing what is down." That, what is that called? And so I like pulled it like partially down, but I'm still trying to like get the the thing in, and I have like my phone in my other hand, and he's like, "No, pull it down lower." So I pulled it down all the way, but I still can't put my bag on the floor. Mm-hmm. So uh, I finally like I'm like putting the ride started, like we're like off on this roller coaster, and I put my bag, I got my phone, my cell phone in my bag, and then finally got it unhooked. And put it on the floor and like wrapped my leg, and then we were good to go. And yeah, enjoy the ride. But it the was, ride, yeah. yeah, the ride's pretty short, um, but yeah, it was. I mean, it was fine. It was fine. It, uh, yeah. I don't know. It that, wasn't anything special. Well, um, and like out of all the rides that have really long waits at the park, I don't know that I would choose that one. Mm-mm. Like if you were going to wait a I long sl- time for a ride, go for Journey to the Center of the Earth. Yeah, I support the Brickers review on this. Like it was like, yeah, it's it's fine. But, it's fine. Yeah. Um, um, sing, if, but if you're not going to do single rider um, without much of a wait, then I wouldn't do it. Yes. So Lindsay was asking about merch. Yes, merch. In general, I would say merch is cheaper than the U.S. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I, I keep like looking at it's like, oh, this is interesting, and I look at the price tag, and it's like, oh, this is only ten dollars. Yeah, or like, um, like the headband ears, um, are in the fourteen to eighteen dollar range, and actually, we should preface that's fourteen. 14- Hundred to eighteen hundred yen, yeah, and with a rough exchange rate of about a hundred. Yeah, although like I don't know, a couple 90. days ago it was a little lower, so yeah. even even a little bit less. Um, yeah, I just feel in general when I pick things up, like I mean, I haven't t- I haven't bought a ton of merch yet, but um, or I haven't found a lot of merch that I want to buy yet. But pins, I feel like you can get them for under ten. I have that oh, Jen got the merch. Got the merch. Like that's coming later. Yeah. Okay. That's later. Um. So yeah, in general, things are less expensive. I think so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the impression that I've gotten too. Yeah. Um. But I will say, well, we can talk more about merch later. But yeah. I, I haven't found like a ton of merch that I want, and we mentioned a little bit yesterday, like, not a lot of apparel options, which is mm-hmm. interesting. There's, like, a really wide variety of merch. One thing, like, about on the topic of merch that I find really interesting is the meta merch. Mm -hmm. Uh, Because they have a lot of merchandise about their merchandise. (laughs) Yeah. Like, you can get a lot of, like, keychains of the food that's in the Mm -hmm. park or, um, like, car, like, little cars of, like, the rides in the park. And, uh... Yeah, like it's it's kind of it's it's it, yeah. weird. Yeah, but then there's um, like one sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, um, I guess there's a variety of socks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, socks oh, and underwear. And underwear. Yeah, like a whole like like a full range of underwear. Like a good like, I don't know. Did you check the price 50, on that? I didn't look at prices on I think the underwear. It's Ten dollars. Ten. Yeah. What a steal. Yeah, a thousand yen. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Um. So yeah, merch, I guess we'll talk a little bit more about merch later. Mm-hmm. Um, so that ride, let's see, single rider, wrote it, got off, met up. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, then we just, thankfully, uh, like I didn't have to wait too long for, for you, because mm-hmm. I went on th- that one first, yeah. and that line was moving kind of slow, so it was kind of, we could have been yeah. split up for a while, but yeah. we actually ended up right after one another. So uh, the next thing was heading to our... Our, our show, show. Um, and then which was kind all of, the way yeah exactly <laughs> across the park in fact it was like the opposite corner of the park mm-hmm. um, and decided to walk through a section of the park that we hadn't been by this point we had actually made our way through most of the park yeah uh, but found that if we just walked this one path we'd basically knock out the rest of the park we mm-hmm. were seeing the rest of the park uh, so um, yeah it, so we did that it, so when we were in like a it was an area that was kind of themed around like Nemo, right? I don't know where we're talking about. Um, I was going into that. Wasn't mm, yeah. the band? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there was the Marine Life Institute. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, so I guess this is the walk where we passed through that spot that was like the where there was like stuff in Spanish, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was like this whole like, we, yeah, we, we took a journey. Yeah, we took like, we walked through like, uh, like kind of a Spanish section 
And then, yeah, and then, like, a walked Nemo, around. Nemo yeah. section. Yeah, Finding Nemo. Like, I felt like that whole section kind of had, like, a wharfy feel to it. Like, it's like walking down on the wharf or... Yeah, because then, like, um, right the after walk. that is, like, Cape Cod. Yeah. Right? Sure. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but anyway, we ran out of cars. So our second performance of the day, it was a brass band. <laughs> I was literally which, like, um, there's a band! Because yeah. they were, like, setting up, and then I just, yeah. like, booked it over there. <laughs> they had, like, this weird sort of, like, pseudo steampunky uh, costuming. Uh, mm-hmm. And they had, like, this time machine that had, yes. like, a date, like, a year on the front that they spun a couple of times to, like, pick a decade of, like, music. Mm-hmm. Uh, and did these, like, odd medleys. Like, they did yeah. kind of, like, a Beatles medley with a Mary Poppins song in the middle. Uh, and then they did, like, classical music. I think, I feel like it said 1700s on the... Yeah. But we were at a weird angle. Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't really, really see, see the front of the time machine. But, yeah, so they did, like, one of the Hungarian dances and mm. um, just, like, this medley of classical music, which was interesting. Um and then at the end, they took requests from the crowd. Yeah, like for either movies or characters. Mm-hmm. And um, at first, they were kind of like selecting people. And then once people realized what was happening, like they would raise their hands yeah. and like try to be yeah. chosen. And then they would just pick one of the, like have one of the... Uh... Yeah, so it would, it would kind of be like, oh, like I heard them say Ariel at yeah. one point. So he's like, oh, Ariel, Ariel. And so then he turns around and he, it's almost like he's like the band checking with the band people, like who's got something for Ariel? Yeah. And then someone would be like, I do, I do. And then they would like lead them in with a few, like few notes. And then they would go into like just a quick, yeah. quick phrase. Yeah. Just like a one line of the chorus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then they would neat. switch and yeah. Um, yeah. It was, it was really mm-hmm. enjoyable. Um, I got to sit on the ground, which was great. <laughs> um, sitting is the best. Mm-hmm. Oh, this park has a lot of benches. Really so many pre- benches. Really appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and so then we kept walking, and just beyond that, if you are following Jared on Instagram, um, he posted a story because there's like this this huge area that has. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's the Aquatopia. So if you're familiar with Autotopia, it's where you drive cars in Disneyland. This is driving like bumper boats. Bumper boats. Yeah. Kind of. It's like a, a bit of water and then you drive around like it's bumper cars. Uh, but I don't really feel like anyone's attempting to hit anyone. Yeah, else. that's true. You're yeah. just kind of driving, driving around. around yeah. It looks like bumper boats. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, you're just, yeah, you're driving around in this heat, pretty big. Yeah. A really big area. Um, and it looks it's so nice. Really, yeah. A really cool ride. Mm-hmm. Um, we definitely want to do that. Um, yeah, we'll probably like make during, it. during the day, I think mm-hmm. would be better than at night for yeah. that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. So yeah, we didn't do that one today, but it's on the list and it looked, it looked really cool. Um, and so um, you might recall, we're making our way to our lottery show, which at this point, um, we had spent a little time on the band, um, mm-hmm. and the the doors opened at four fifty. Mm-hmm. Yes, four fifty, and the show was at five fifteen. So we were making our way over there, um, but before that, mm-hmm. popcorn. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yesterday I was uh, so again Tokyo Disney is known for its popcorn. Like they have lots of different flavors, and so. Yesterday, I decided to, like, try all of them and try it a lot and ate so much popcorn. <laughs> Today, I prioritized a bit and ate one kind of popcorn. Uh, there was actually one I wouldn't have minded trying, but, um, the you lines know, are super that line's long. so long. Yeah. I didn't you have want to, like, that balance bad. how much you want the popcorn with how long you want to stand mm-hmm. in that line. Oh, when we were, like, coming into the park and splitting and going our separate ways, I passed a popcorn cart and it already had, like, two dozen people in line. Right, exactly. And, like, People the rest are of running us... into the park, and then they stop in a popcorn line, because that's what they Gotta want to do get first. that. But that's probably the shortest line that popcorn cart's going to have all day. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, so, um, strawberry. Strawberry was this popcorn. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, except it was, like, right across the road from the garlic shrimp popcorn cart. <laughs> it was so good. And what's so... It was like a cloud of suffocating What's so awful? It like fumes. what's funny is it hit us at the same time because yeah. I was like oh, and then like half a second later you were like oh, <laughs> yeah. And then we had to go stand in line. I was like, please do not let this line for strawberry popcorn smell like shrimp. Yeah, but it's close enough. For it was just super intense, like super yeah. intense. Super yeah. intense. Yeah. Um, um, but didn't have to stand there for too oh long gosh. to get through the line. They were a very efficient popcorn yeah. car. I really appreciated yeah. that. Um, got the strawberry popcorn. Um, we, before the show, we decided to take a few, snap a few pictures. Yeah, because we really hadn't been taking pictures of ourselves today. Yeah, we took a lot of pictures of the park. It was but, super sunny, uh, and mm-hmm. so it's, like, not good light. You're just staring into the light. Yeah, back or the creating the a shadow, and, yeah. like, so we just weren't. And honestly, it's, like, it's almost like the park was so amazing. I, I, 
I don't know. It's like my brain couldn't even handle, like, it couldn't even take in all the scenery. Mm-hmm. So, um. I also think partially, and I said this earlier, like, it, when you go to, like, a Disney or Magic Kingdom, like, park, mm-hmm. like, you know you're going to get a picture with the castle. Yes. and. This park was so unfamiliar. Like, you don't what do know, you, like, yeah. what do you do to like, yeah. take a picture with this volcano? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> um, so, like, as after we got to know this, the the park a bit, it's like, oh, like this is where it makes sense to like have a picture of this. Yeah. Um, then we went to the show. Oh, big, yeah. big band beat. This was an assigned seating show, which was kind of cool. Mm-hmm, so yeah. we knew, like, it's like the doors opened at four fifty. We knew we didn't have to get there like forty five minutes early or something like that. Yeah. We could just walk in and um and get our seats. So it was beautiful, like a really nice big theater. Mm-hmm. Um, we were down on the on the orchestra. We were down on the floor, like yeah. on the orchestra level. Um, it was great. Sixteen rows back. Yeah, yeah, great seats. House left. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was called Big Band Beat, mm-hmm. and it was all like jazz. Uh, it was like a jazz basically review. Like yeah, basically jazz standards. Uh, um, with uh, dancers and Disney characters. Yes. Like Mickey, Minnie, Donald's, Daisy, uh, Goofy. Goofy. Um, so it op- I would say the first thing that stood out, uh, singing in English. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. I, yeah. was, I was waiting for Mickey's high kick. Uh, yeah, that was amazing. But the first thing was like, yeah. oh, like the songs uh, were all in English. And actually, yeah. the, was the whole show in English? No. No? Um, yeah, like it was like, there was some stuff that was like, must... I think the Disney characters at a, a few <gasps> times spoke in um, Japanese. Yes, yes. But like all... when the Disney characters were speaking, they were speaking in Japanese. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's right. Um, but when they were singing, the... they were singing in English. Oh, and actually, no, so there was one guy who was kind of like the MC, and he actually did say one line in Japanese because, and I don't even remember what he asked. Yeah, it, w- it was, uh, it was like. Like give him a hand or or Some, like how like is that. she doing like that and then like a few like English speakers like clapped and then he like said it in Japanese <laughs> and then the rest of the crowd clapped. It's like oh yeah that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Um. But uh, amazing band like full, uh, very like very large band. I yeah. Uh, I don't know a dozen. Twelve. Yeah. Yeah. Oh hey. Um. I'm really uh, bad at like, estimating. It's like maybe like four, four four a drummer and a pianist. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they were amazing. Um. But yes, I think. The real standout of this show is that so like I don't know you see you see characters dancing in like street like, shows and they're like they, yeah it's like, yeah hands, I'm dancing hands, I'm head, dancing head, yeah. I'm pointing at things yeah like all this stuff this Mickey comes out yeah <laughs> this Mickey could dance this Mickey could dance like we both reacted at the same moment and it is when Mickey kicked his leg up and basically kicked himself in the forehead <laughs> like. High kick, Mickey high kick. Like, when has Mickey ever high kicked before? Uh, uh, there were a lot of like really great dancers, um, and uh, uh, we opened right like the first group of dancers that came out. Uh, like we had multiple tap numbers, mm-hmm, like yeah, so much tap. Yeah, and Mickey was like doing full. I mean, he wasn't he wasn't in tap shoes, yeah. but he was doing yeah, like doing the, the tap, tap choreography. Steps, yeah. um, like right there with everybody else, he was doing like pirouettes like a turn and like in a mickey mask where i can't you're not even imagine to, like see it and then like yeah. get back to where you're supposed to lots of those and so yeah impressive. just like so on with like ev- with yeah like all the choreography like you can tell stuff. like we we see you mickey and then later uh like he comes out of the stage at a set of drums so then the, he's at a set of drums and then the other drummers like back here and like at a, at a set of drums and then it's like, oh, Mickey's going to pretend to play the drums and it's going to be the drummer guy. No, Mickey plays the drums. Like, so there's two drummers. and Mickey's so talented. Yeah. <laughs> he was very, very impressed with Mickey. Yeah, that was um, really cool. Yeah. Overall, I, I really, really enjoyed the show. I'm um, really glad we won that lottery. I really enjoyed the choreography. Mm-hmm. Um, like a good mix of kind of like standard what you would expect to see, like jazz stuff, kind of almost like stereotypical of, of jazz, but like mixed up in a way that, that felt fresh and fun. Yeah. Yeah. And there were some fun costumes. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Oh, so many costume changes. Yeah. Like, it's gotta be wild. Backstage. Their like ending number was all these different. So it's obviously like twenties style and, um, all these different varieties of like black and white mixed, uh, like flapper esque mm-hmm. kind of outfits. And they were like all different. And it was a pretty big cast. Mm-hmm. Like all the dancers, like yeah. when they had everyone out, it was pretty big. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was, it, they were, there were some really beautiful, beautiful costumes and yeah, great songs, great dance. It was a really awesome show. Yeah. I'm really glad. 
Really glad we saw it. Yeah. And then it was only, it was about half an hour. Until? The, sh- the show. Oh, yeah. The show was about half an hour. And then we left the theater. We kind of took our time getting out of there. Well, actually, it was interesting. The people on either side of us also took their time. So yeah. we weren't we in a rush. Sat there for a long they time. weren't in a rush. Yeah. Uh, and so we made our way out. And then across um, a plaza, yeah. of course, um, there is, there's, it's, is that called the American Waterfront? Is that what that section's called? I don't know. There's like a cruise ship that's docked. <laughs> Yeah. And um, we like had... A, a cruise ship. It's a pretend... A cruise ship. Yeah. Yes. Remember, what's real, what's It's in what's the fake. pretend water. Beyond the cruise ship is the real water. Yeah. After a, there's a wall. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> we had walked past it on the way to our show and had seen that there was a stage over there and they had times posted for a show called... What's that show called? New York, uh, New York. New, I have no idea. Uh, something about New York. Uh, American Waterfront. And then what was the show? Um, Let's see. The shows are over here. Yeah, it was the new show. Um, Hello, Hello, New York. Hello, New York. And so we had seen that there was a stage and the show times, and there was a show starting at six. So if you remember, right, right when we came out of our show. yeah, so we walked across and we knew we wouldn't be able to get seats. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, because this show was not a lottery show. I think mm-hmm. I think people just show up. I guess I don't know. <laughs> and they had benches, but we didn't get any of those. So we we're kind of like outside, like on our tiptoes, like trying to see the stage. Yeah, it was an open area. Yeah, an open. Oh stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was outside. Yeah. Um. And we could just like looking over people's heads or through people's heads. We can yeah. basically see the show. Yes. Um, I wasn't really expecting much. Like I, no. we, because we had just gone from this like really amazing show and well, I was expecting to see like parade level um, yeah. like performances where they're not necessarily given really ex- like. Sure. I mean, garbage. we were literally coming from like what we assumed was the best show in the park. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, but we we're like, we like New York. Sure. Let's go, let's go yeah. check it out. Um, and actually, being over there, we saw that that you can go on the cruise ship. We saw people on it. Yeah. So let's we'll check that out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people like waving from the windows in the cruise ship. Yeah. So many things to go on. There's also yeah. like a pirate ship. Yeah. That you can go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have to go on that too. We have so much to do. Yeah. Um. So um, the show starts, and I don't know. It started off a little cheesy. Super cheesy. <laughs> like like super Disney cheese, and like su- actually like then the and like the first choreography was like. Really reminiscent of like '90s boy bands. Yeah, it was super boy band. Yeah. It was. It was and absolutely. And the costumes. The costumes were very much like that as yes. well. Yes. Um, but it was like catchy. Yeah. I was, I was bouncing. Yeah. I, I, it's kind of. It's what I would expect from like a Disney show. Yeah. Um. I mean, we love Disney. Like we're here for it. Absolutely. Uh. Uh. So that show. I mean, I didn't actually time it, but um, it actually got pretty. Pretty good. Yeah. Like, At one point, there were these three tumblers that came oh out that were just jumping off all these boxes. The, the, and... the second... Was that the second number? Sure. I think... Anyway, it was basically like a parkour number. Yeah. Like, yeah. they had these boxes set up, and they were, like, jumping over boxes, and then they're, like, jumping, like, up and flipping backwards mm. up, up against the wall. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's names for these things. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Doing full tumbling passes. And, yeah, and yeah. then just, like, tumbling across the stage. Yeah. Super impressive. Yeah. And then... Um, it's so funny. One of the songs, I think, has the line... I don't know, like, we love New York or something, that I was like, yeah, I do love New York. I love New York. <laughs> um, by the end, I was totally, I was, like, super dance, probably annoying bouncing. the people. Yeah, I was, like, bouncing a lot. She's I was probably sure, yeah. annoying the people behind me. But it was um, super catchy by the end. And um, Tokyo Disney is in the middle, well, not in the middle, they're at the very, very end of their 35th anniversary celebration. Um that might even, like, end... Oh, no, it ends on the 25th. I don't even know. Yeah, 25th. Sometime before our trip is up. Yes. So we're there right at the end of it. And so at the end of this this routine, like, a big, like... Hap- it's called the Happiest Celebration. Yeah. Um, this... on, the, on the ship, like, a big, like, thing unrolls that's, like, giant yeah. Happy 35th poster. And there's a song that is, the like, the 35th anniversary song that gets played all over the park for different things. And so they incorporated that into their, mm-hmm. like, finale piece. And it's just... Uh, one more note about the talent. Like, they had mm. some hip-hop sections the, with, like, some really good hip-hop dancers. Yeah. Um, and then they did, like, some, of like, some, like, Fosse, like, jazz stuff mm-hmm. um, that also, like, lo- looked like it, it should. So, like, the talent level there was um, much higher than I was expecting. Like, pretty on par in different areas with what we had seen before. All of the speaking in this show was in Japanese, so mm. we don't really know the story. Yeah, I don't know. We Mickey could make... showed up, Mickey left. Other characters showed up, mm-hmm. Donald and Daisy, Chip and Dale, yeah. Pluto, Goofy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think those might have been yeah. all the characters. Um, so we don't really know what the story was. And was there a song in Japanese as well, or were all the songs in English? I don't, uh, I don't remember. I feel like there was some songs in Japanese. Yeah. But it was like mo- most of the songs were in English. Mm-hmm. Um, 
but yeah, overall, I'm really glad we caught it because yeah. it was it was fun um, and just very upbeat. I felt very like peppy afterwards. Mm-hmm. We took a seat after that to figure out what the rest of our evening would look like mm-hmm. and ended up deciding to go to uh, like get pizza at a place called Sebastian's Calypso. Calypso Kitchen. Calypso right? Kitchen? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh. I, don't know. I believe you. So, um, yeah. also, if you're following uh, Jared on Instagram, um, you might have seen a story earlier today when we first walked through the area that had the Mermaid Lagoon and it has King Triton's castle. Mm-hmm. And it's beautiful. Yeah. Um, it's like all mosaic y and covered like. covered in shells and mosaic tiles. And it's and just like the colors sparkly. are gorgeous. Um, and so. Sebastian's Calypso Kitchen is like inside of it and so we walked back over there and of course now it's nighttime and at night like the whole park is lit up differently and super yeah. cool we were like we're gonna have to explore this whole place exactly. again it's in, like a different in the park. dark um oh wait before we went oh yeah because we decided to walk over there but mm-hmm. we didn't go straight there because oh yeah yeah because yeah. like I have that yeah yeah so yeah on the way over there we are walking past like this fortress area like it's hard to describe, but it's basically like a castle. Yeah. Um, and we're walking through, and we see these people like going up these steps that don't look like you can go up there. Like, we literally walk past, and Jared's like, are those stairs? Yeah. Like, let's go look at these stairs. Yeah. And, and so we went up the stairs, and then it turns out you can go up those other stairs up to, There's like, more a stairs. tower. And then you can actually go all over these kind of battlements. Um, like for an old timey looking castle. Yeah, like there's medieval, like cannons a medieval castle. that were like shooting. Yeah, can like cannons going off every couple m- minutes. Yeah, every couple of minutes, like smoke. shooting smoke and stuff. Yeah. Um, but we ended up like at a spot with like an amazing <gasps> view of like the whole like harbor area with the like Mediterranean Plaza like coming over. And you can to, see like, like the New York section mm-hmm. and like a Broadway sign yeah. lit up, and then Tower of Terror is lit up, and then the cruise ship is all lit up. I mean everything. Yeah. Everything. It's all lit up. Yeah. It was so pretty. And and it's like there's a full moon and it was reflecting on the water and it was just beautiful. And I just wanted to like stand there and stare at things. Um, What's funny is right behind us is the volcano that's above the journey to the center of the earth ride. And so we're standing there and we're kind of like, we should go, we should go get food or no, well, first we wanted to explore one of the other yeah, towers. But, yeah. Um, and I was like, hold on, let's like, just, I want to stay. I think I said, I want 20 more seconds yeah. here because I just wanted to take it in because it was so pretty. Mm-hmm. And this whole time, like the volcano behind us is getting it's louder like and louder. Noises, but and, you're not really oh, paying attention. Because I think we should point out that once it got dark and maybe it does it during the day, but we just couldn't see it. Oh yeah. It like. It smokes. It smokes. Yeah. Um, and so it became really obvious at night because it's lit. Yeah. In like pretty colors. And then we could see the smoke at night. So I don't know. Maybe yeah. it goes during the day too and you just don't see it. Um, yeah. So we're standing there looking at the amazing park and like Katrina like turns around at one point. She's like, I believe that volcano is about to erupt. Because <laughs> it just kept getting louder and louder yeah. and louder and louder. And sure we turn enough. around. And, and the, the lights like, have gotten like red and orange. And, and instantly then, like fire. <laughs> like scouts of flame like shoot up out of the like fire and out we were of the just, volcano. We were just in the perfect and spot. And we were like really close. Like, like right there. Couldn't have had a better uh, seat for this. And then there was like another occasional like bursts until like of the like sound rumbled like, like yeah. rumbled away and yeah. um, calmed down again. And then we explored some of the other towers just like really quick. Yeah for just a sec. Just to sec. Um, run around the stairs. Yeah. Not not run. Danger. Um, <laughs> but just checking out what there were. We didn't go through everything, I don't Mm-mm. think. No, we didn't even get close. Yeah, so we decided um, to abandon that because we, um, we learned yesterday that food closes down earlier. Mm-hmm. Like, not all the food, but the food you want yeah. closes early. Yeah. And so we didn't want to... We decided be to a... go, like, get food now and come back if we wanted to. Yeah. But when we got to the food, like we said, it's inside of Triton's Castle. Which Triton's Castle is now all lit up because mm-hmm. it's night. And so, like, oh, that was a pretty... Although, I think it's prettier in the day. Mm. But... Um, it looked cool, lit up, and so yeah, we go inside, and there's like this, this it's King Triton when he's riding the shells, I don't, and uh, being pulled he, by the dolphins, yeah, um, like, dolphin like a statue, chari- dolphin chariot, statue, yes, and there's like a little proclamation that says like yeah. he's by magic, uh, mm-hmm. we're allowed to enter his kingdom, so, so nice. it's like we're going underwater, yes. Yeah, so then we go down some ramps, mm-hmm. and then we like are met with this like view of this whole indoor like underwater. Paradise. Under the sea. It looks like you're in the movie. I am just like, 
it was amazing and I loved it so much. Like I can't even say like how much I loved it. We like took pictures of the overall thing and then continued the walk down to like walk out yeah. into it and they're like the kitty rides with like these giant yeah. bouncing jellyfish. Yeah, to give you an idea, it's almost like a whole section of the park is now inside and like Yeah, underground. Underground like, we've, underwater. Like, walked down like yeah, we're down a level or two. So and because it is like it's like we said earlier, kind of like the kitty area. So there's like the it's like smaller rides and um, the floor like is squishy. Yeah, which was hey. Yeah, I was all for that squishy floor. Yeah. And then there's like play areas too. And like one of those areas that have like the shooting fountains. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, As in like just like shooting you water. Know, like you can get, have your kids go there, run and around, like get wet. <laughs> but then there was this the separate area that was like a walkthrough uh, experience. Uh, again, designed for small small people, I think small uh, small kids. See, I don't I don't think so. I don't know. Like that, like this was like a full, uh, um, like adults you know what? are welcome. Experience. It was for everyone. Yeah, it was for everyone, and it, it was, was for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was split into different areas, like just I don't even. Yeah. I don't there even... Are things that yeah, like we have things from the movie. So there's like a section that's like the ship where she's after the dingle hopper. Yeah. Uh, or the snark a variety of un under the yeah. sea experiences and things from the movie. So mm -hmm. there's like a kelp forest that you walk through, but then they had those like rope bridges, like going like up around, net, net, yeah, yeah, net net bridge things mm -hmm. that you like kind of wobble across. Yeah. Um, so we walked those, and then yeah, it had like the um, it had the sunken ship, like yeah. um, Eric's like um, that would be his ship, right? Or any no, any sunken no, ship? No, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a different ship. Yeah, so they had like a sunken ship that you could go into part of. It was just tiny. That wasn't yeah, very yeah. much. It, um, but then you can go into Ariel's Grotto, which mm -hmm. is the one that has the statue of Eric and the mm -hmm. thingamabobs and like shelves with and, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, uh, I mean, you, come on. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was amazing. You get to a, a point where it's like the entrance to Ursula's lair, mm -hmm. um, the like big like uh, um, evil skeleton. Giant, yeah, yeah. And you walk through that, and then eventually you see some of the dangling things from the ceiling. And oh yeah. Um, yeah, and it, it, we, I, I was just walking around the whole area with just my mouth hanging open. They had like, they had like little pathways that would take you down these little halls that had different experiences. So like mm -hmm. one hallway had like, um, like funhouse mirrors, mm -hmm. and then that room, yeah, like the light, it was crazy. The, it had like, f uh, like photosensitive walls. So like, if you like flash light on it, then it like glow in the dark, like. Um, turns the walls green. So what people were doing was taking their cell phones and turning on the flashlight and then like, like putting holding... Putting right at the, against the wall. We're going to yeah. pretend this is a flashlight. Yeah. So you turn on... Or your phone. So you turn on the flashlight and then press it up against the wall and draw. And so it would like right on the wall. Because and... the walls glow in the dark. Yeah. Right? And then it would like stay there for a yeah. while before it would fade away. It and was then, so and like cool. the, the way that the room itself worked is that there was an occasional flash from like a really bright light. So like if you had like your hand against the wall, it would flash and then you could take your hand away and everything else was glow in the dark, but that was like um, yeah. dark now. It was... And it didn't take very long to fade either. So yeah. it was the like a uh, unique experience. I've never seen, like I've never had that. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. Um, and then let's see, that was oh, thanks, Maylee. Hi. Um, and then yeah, there was some Ursula stuff. Uh -huh. Um, I think that was all of the, all of that section. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was and, like this is like a big section. It's huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's there's so much. Anyway, I loved it so much. We still again we needed to move on to food. Yeah, we food needed closed. to get food. So we went and got pizza, which was a little disappointing. They had some uh, <laughs> toppings that we weren't really expecting, but overall it was fine. Fine. Uh, but we sat in this area that I loved. It was like giant. Yeah, giant. One thing that's really interesting with the restaurants here, like there's the guide that has the restaurants and it shows the capacity of the restaurant, like who can sit in there. It'll say, like, all it'll like, say like 480 400, people can sit here. 600. Like they have so many, so much seating. Like they're uh, really, oh, oh, Christy, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, in the science center. That yeah, makes sense. <laughs> it, that, does make, that does make sense. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, the park has so many people that come to it, but they really do a good job of like handling the capacity. Yeah. Um, as, unless you want waffles, unless you want waffles, <laughs> do that. then you you just have to wait. Yep. Um, but this room that we sat in, I mean, it was beautiful. Yeah. It was like there was a there was like a giant <laughs> like where do we even start all the way around the walls. And it, what was cool, like uh, it looked just like the cartoon, like same illustrations as the cartoon, and it had like all of the fish from the under the water under the sea scene. Yeah. So it had Ariel, but then it had like. 
the place played the bass and the and the car played all the of those. Hafta. Yeah, but and, um, and but the newt played the flute. And, and, like they were all there, but um, so much more. Yeah, as well. So then they had like strands of fish, like hanging from lights, fish lanterns, like fish yeah. lanterns, and then they had like chandelier mobile kind of things mm-hmm, that, that had like a school of silver fish. swirly yeah. fish and then the columns had like clam shells all over them mm-hmm. and then um if you imagine all along the wall obviously there's like booths right so there's like long tables in the middle but then like booths all the way around and then above each booth was like a painted like pair of sea creatures that yeah. were like out on a date like behind so like, cute. like behind us there was a stingray yeah um and he like, had like his arm around yeah. her, and she's blushing. And, and he's, he's got, got a like drink a with drink two straws. With two straws. Yeah, exactly. um, and if you look, look around the room, it's like all different pairings of yeah, of, yeah the of sea creatures. Yeah, yeah that, was really that was cute. that was very sweet. So it's just like layers and layers of, of theming that was just it was just amazing. Mm-hmm. Like sat there like eating pizza and just kind of like rocking back and forth to the music. Yeah, that was it was like the soundtrack of Little Mermaid, but it had all been like slightly remixed. Yeah, slightly <laughs> re- remixed in like. Uh, like a calypso like sound, mm-hmm. the Caribbean uh, vibe, and, then, and they just kind of like looped through the soundtrack with different versions of all the songs. And then was wasn't the gift shop in like the mouth of a whale? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You and know, the gift shop for the area like was in a giant whale, kind of like monstro esque mm-hmm. from Pin- Pinocchio, but this was a very friendly mm-hmm. looking whale. Um, <laughs> yes, and then, very inviting. Yeah, so we gift a gift shop down there. Yes, that. yeah. So any like that was that was easily the highlight of my day. Like. Uh, <laughs> Just like one, like walking through that thing, like I said, just with my mouth hanging open and being like, this is the best thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. It's not, but it was great. And I think it's of note because Jared was very skeptical about this park, um, being amazing. And, um, I think, uh... Well, the Bricker said it's the best theme park in the entire world. So... (laughs) That's, that's high. Yeah, that's that's a a pretty, that's a pretty big claim. Um... I was, I was pretty sure it would be amazing, um... And, like, we kind of talked earlier today about, like, what makes, like, a park wor- worthwhile to mm-hmm. us. I don't know. Yeah. I, and I pointed out that I really like things that are unique experiences. So, for me, the fact that, um, I'm getting, like, weird light over there. Um, for me, one of the things that's really interesting about Disney Sea is that it is the only Disney Sea um, in the world. And so, to me, like, that's really unique. And I know that there's experiences there that I'll only have at Disney Sea. And so, like, that alone already sets it apart from other park experiences, even though I love my Disneyland and California adventure. Mm-hmm. Um, but just like that alone already set it up really high. And then for me, just like how beautiful it is, um, is just so like over the top amazing that it already had a ton of points with me. Mm-hmm. So, but this like really sold it to yeah. Jared. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That was. Yes. <laughs> I don't like, really have enough words to say about how much I liked that. Yeah, so, yeah, and it's really hard to describe. Like, I feel like anything we try to describe about how the park looks is just going to fall short. Like, it's yeah. it's really so well done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it so well done, and the scale is so crazy. Um, like, this, the volcano we keep referencing, it's huge. It is really big. It's so huge. Yeah. This park is giant. The Indiana Jones Temple is... So big. So big, <laughs> like, yeah. It's so big. I, like, that Mediterranean Square, like, huge buildings and a really huge open but, square. But then, not just big, but then done really well. Yeah. So that's the thing. It's like, it's still super detailed. Mm-hmm. Um, there's just so much detail that goes into all of it. Um, and then it's, like, at a scale that's so giant. Yeah. So, super, super impressive. Um, do they have hidden Mickeys? Uh, uh, I, I didn't find any hidden I Mickeys. I noticed them in Disneyland mm-hmm. yesterday. But I didn't really see any. Yeah, today. I wasn't really like looking for them. Yeah, that's uh, true. I feel like I feel like my brain couldn't even process everything we were seeing. So mm-hmm. there, maybe we'll see more. Maybe we'll find some the next time. But I didn't really notice hidden Mickey's there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, that thing that was almost the end of our day, right? Best thing all day. <laughs> um, it's a weird pizza. Oh. Oh. We did one we, more ride. Yeah, we did hit one more ride. Uh, it was a recommended ride by the Brickers, but they said that it's good to ride at the end of the day unless you can find a nice way earlier in the day. They were because right. Because it typically, like, trails off. And mm-hmm. it did. And we rode it. Yeah. And it was a unique sort of ride. Yeah. So it was a 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, which I had actually thought we had ridden before in Paris. And then Jared was like, I don't remember that. And I was like, okay, well. But I don't remember a lot of uh, and I was like, okay, but I definitely remember like looking at stuff that was related to it. And I was like, so maybe if it wasn't a ride, it was a walkthrough. And we looked it up. It was a walkthrough in Paris um, or 
yeah, like yeah. it was a 20,000 leagues themed walkthrough experience in Paris, not a ride. So we hadn't actually ridden on this before. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's a fast pass ride. And the brokers were saying like, it's usually one of the last fast passes to run out. Um, but we did not get a fast pass before they ended for the day. And then when we went on it, the sign, the standby line just said 15 minutes. It, mm -hmm. I think it was longer, but, yeah. but not by maybe. much. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but it wasn't too bad, and it was really unique. It was, yeah, it was different. I, it was not what, I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I was kind of expecting, like, a classic, like, submarine yeah. Um, situation. Yeah, so you get on this, like... Uh, pod. Yeah, this pod that's, like, uh, suspended from the ceiling, kind of like Peter Pan's flight, where the boat is, like, uh, from the ceiling, but complete coincidence that this is a submarine and that's a boat. But anyway, <laughs> it's, like, hanging from the ceiling. You get in, like... There's three pairs of seats inside yeah. with like um, fisheye windows on the front and on the sides, and you're like sitting there on a bench, sitting there on the just, bench. Yeah, just right up on in bench. one of those windows. Yeah, and just like staring out at the bench, and then it makes it. Then it pretends that you're underwater, so you go down, and like the window starts bubbling inside the window. Which I know which they was, do that for like Nemo in California, yeah. but. This was like more intense than that. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was really like. Wait, are we? Are we underwater right now? I know. We, it definitely we, took, we can't be underwater. It definitely took a sec. Yeah. For us to be like, is it? Is um, it going under? And then it was just kind of like a. Is that a dark ride? Does that count as a dark uh, ride? Um, yes. Like so, we went through and everything. Like this, there's it was dark. seaweed like all moving slowly, and there are eventually glowing creatures and stuff. And One thing that was kind of cool is like in front of each window there was a little like joystick mm -hmm. and. A couple of a, times during the ride, uh, it, would, yeah. it would light up, and then then you had control over like a spotlight that was outside, yeah. so you could um, point it at things yeah. you wanted to look at, which was kind of neat. Yeah, that was like that was um, unique. Yeah, yeah. Again, like uh, it is a unique ride. Just haven't been on one like it before. Mm -hmm. um, I don't. I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to ride it again. But no. But if you can get on a twenty minute ish yeah. standby. Yeah, it's worth worth, worth the experience. Worth I think too, just because the um the car was so unique, like that's definitely a mm -hmm. uh an experience I haven't had like that kind of pod up, thing. Yeah. It was that it was really unique. The ride itself, mm, um, you get yeah. into get into trouble a couple times, like some sort of trouble. Yeah, uh, it's all in Japanese. Yeah, it's in Japanese. It's like narrated the whole time, mm -hmm. but. You know. Something's happening. I oh, thought it was a giant squid. There, of course. Um, and then I thought it was funny when we got back to the, where we were unloading. Um, one of the cast members is just like waving at us He's through like our window. Crouched, like waving through the window <laughs> at us. They, um, there seems to be a lot of waving here. Mm. Um, like the cast members wave a lot. Uh, people like on the boats, like on a passing boat, like I mean, wave to the people that are. Like, I don't think that's too unusual. Um, yeah. Uh, but it, it, I, but I a, feel a it's lot like of a, it's like a slightly higher degree than Disney Sea has a hotel that's in the park, and um, people in the hotel wave to people in the park, and this was like at night as we were leaving, um, and they they have like their cell phones in their hands with the flashlight on, so they're like waving with a flashlight mm -hmm. in the window, and then some people in the park are like waving with flashlights back, so yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of waving, a lot of waving. Uh, then at that point, uh, we had We out. Yeah. Um, I wanted part. to stop by some stores, um, to pick up a couple things mm -hmm. and uh, did that. Yeah. Uh, picked up my merch on the way out of the park and that was it. But I picked up a piece of merch today. We talked about it yesterday. We did. And it's a poo pillow, but it's the softest poo pillow so you'll soft. ever find. It's really the softest... And, and squishiest. And I would just like to say, stretchiest. we might, <laughs> we might, oh, and show, show the two faces. Oh, and this side he winks, but on this side he just smiles. Stop. And this um, side he winks. Like, he's so soft. Wink. And we might have never even known how soft he was, except someone like knocked one of them off the shelf when, yeah. after we rode the um, Pooh's Honey Hunt. And um, <sighs> I went to go pick it up off the ground and I was like, I was like oh, Whoa. My, oh my goodness, you're so soft. So soft and squishy, so, and anyway, yeah. uh, I'm not even necessarily like a Pooh fan at all, like Winnie the Pooh, um, but maybe now I am. It's like squishy soft. I don't even really yeah. know how to like... There's no way to describe what this no. is, except that it's amazing, and you should be jealous that I have one and you don't. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything, anything else. Fan questions? <laughs> oh, shoot. 
Yes. Listener we questions. Had some, we had some questions, but what were they? Oh, um, gosh. Your mom asked the question. Mm, she did. Um, do you want to ask it again? <laughs> mom, do you remember what your question was from yesterday? We waited to... Um, let's see. Christy wants to know, how can you not be a Pooh fan? Um, I, I, it's not like he was yeah. anti-Pooh. No, I wasn't anti-Pooh. Uh, it was just that, you know... There are many, many Disney characters. And so many. <laughs> I know that Pooh is actually very high on Christie's oh, list. Oh, I think we could talk about, we mentioned it a little bit yesterday, but there are certain characters that um, are very prominent here that are not necessarily prominent in other parks. So Pooh is definitely one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? Well, obviously Duffy with his with his friends. Oh, I would just like to say, I'm not, I'm not a Duffy fan, and... Um, <laughs> Not actually what I wanted to say. That but is I'm, an understatement. But I'm prefacing it. I I don't know why, but Duffy just kind of annoys me. But I'm fine with his friends. So his friends, he has a cat who is oh gosh. No, no, no. Okay. Um he has two friends, the cat and the bunny. The cat is a painter. What's not to love about that? And then the bunny, we learned, I met her today, um, met the character, not not like a person, but just learned who she was her name is Stella Lou and she wants to be a dancer like, so I Duffy surrounds himself with artistic types I think that's fantastic um, I guess points to Duffy for that and um, I think we think he's gonna add a musician next and an actor that's uh, what he's musician. missing uh, yes, yes yes um there are these pillars in one of the plazas and they say like art dance theater music, music. <laughs> Yeah. And I was like, these are Duffy's friends. Um, so there's some he hasn't met yet. I can't. Um, let's see. Mom. Oh. Okay, on my list. Yes. Um, oh, other characters. Uh, Little Green Men mm-hmm. is is more um, prominent here. I would say, like, there's a good amount of Little Green Men stuff in Disneyland, but not to the degree there is here. There's a lot more, which I'm a fan. Um, oh, I've also bought some of the pressed coin machines. You know those pressed coin machines? I'm normally not into those, but there's been a couple that I've liked here. So I got one that had the little green men on them on it. And then another one that was, I think it was mini. And it was just kind of like a general park one, but it had cherry blossoms with it. And I thought that was fun. Um, Oh, yeah, Mom, you asked about beignets. So we've not seen any beignets. And interestingly, the New Orleans section of the Disneyland here, it, I actually made the call that it looked like uh it looked like a new orleans set like it what didn't feel as immersive as like new orleans in california in sure. my opinion yeah. yeah i spent a lot of time in the new orleans square in uh disney's uh in, in disneyland, disneyland california and um there is actually a blue bayou restaurant here that is in pirates so just like california and it's like that in florida as well I'm and sure. paris yeah. yeah i think paris yeah so Shanghai. that seems like a standard um we didn't check the menu there, Mm-mm. so I guess I can't say for certain whether or not beignets are there, but I'm going to guess not. And then they actually have a restaurant here called Cafe Orleans um, that is nothing like the Cafe Orleans at home. Mm-hmm. Nothing. Is it a counter service here? Uh, not sure. But it, they, yeah, it says they have crepes. Um, the pictures barely looked like crepes. Mm-hmm. I don't really know what, what they were, but there was no beignets yeah. um, that we have seen. So, Yeah. Is your mom saying she wants Duffy? I don't know. Are you saying you want a Duffy? Well, you'll have to, you'll have to let me know. We'll we'll talk more about that offline. Mm-hmm. Um, were there any other questions? No. Nope. I think yeah. I know Jenna asked about merch. General thoughts of merch. We said like there's not a lot of apparel. There's underwear. Mm-hmm. There's socks. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of stationary products and there's a lot of food products. A lot of food. Yeah. A ton of food. Um, it's very common in Japanese culture if you travel to bring back uh, food for your coworkers, um, and so there's a lot of like boxes of individually packaged food, and it's it's catering straight to that. Like that's there's a ton of it. So it's like um, little hard candies or crackers or cookies, these things that are like banana caramel. Twinkies. Twinkie looking things, yeah. but they're like tiny. Mm-hmm. Um, we've not tried any of these. I kind of wish we could. I wish there was a better sampler. Yeah. Um, there are so you don't some have like to buy like a giant box of yeah like a dozen Twinkies. There's these things that are called like they're basically like crunch balls. I imagine they're kind of like rice crispy um, chocolate coated things, um, rice crisp kind of coated things. And at one of the stands, you can actually like pick the flavors you want to like fill the box. But I'm like, can I? 
Buy can a I pay, box of one. Right. Can I buy less than 18 to try them? Because mm-hmm. they kind of look interesting. And if there's different flavors, that's cool. But I, I don't want to mm-hmm. make a commitment to 18. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, they probably don't have the sandwiches. If you mean the Monte Cristos at Cafe Orleans. No. I was actually kind of hoping because when we saw it, it was a crepe place. I was like, oh, you could do like a Monte Cristo-esque mm-hmm. crepe. Um, but they did not choose to do that. No. Yeah. Um, Disneyland... Um. I just wasn't super thrilled with the food options mm. there. Yeah. Like, I kind of think if we go back there, I'm going to want another waffle, and then I'm going to be really sad that I have to wait an hour mm. for it. Okay, so... Is that all? I think we... <laughs> is that all? Is that all. But <laughs> it's, it's all plus some. Yeah. Um, no Duffy for me. I watched a whole video on YouTube, and this mm. couple covered everything oh, Duffy. Yeah, I told Jared about yeah. that. I don't know how you found that, that couple. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know how that happened. Um... Thank you for watching. Yes. If you have any questions about Disney in Japan, we can do our best to try and answer them. Mm -hmm. If you happen to have reached this point in the video without having seen earlier in the video, um, like recapping uh, what we're planning Mm. to do from now on is at the beginning of the video, we'll do um, short highlights. So if next time you don't have an hour plus to sit here and watch us talk about uh, everything, our, our trip, every step, um, all 22,000 steps, you can catch the next video and just watch the first few minutes where we give like a brief recap of our day. Yeah. And, uh, and then when you do have time to watch us for hours, you can come back or just know. listen. Yeah. You can pretend this is a podcast. Mm-hmm. It's like we're doing a live podcast yes. and you can just listen to us. Cause it's not like we're doing much with our yeah. hands except showing the poop yeah. Um, and then so all in the future, feel free to tune into just the first few minutes of the video. Yes. And we'll try, I don't know, maybe I'll throw in the comments like how long the highlight section is. So we can just be like, if you want the highlights of our day, watch the first yeah. five minutes. Yep. Something like that. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and we will... Have a wonderful day. Yeah. We need it's to go to bed. It's almost 1am, so... <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, have a good day. Alright. Um, we'll uh, be alive again tomorrow. Yep. See ya. Bye.